Wow, well, a pretty intense and unusual rescue went down in southeastern Arizona. A team of wildlife biologists making a trek into the burned out areas of the Fry Fire in order to save fish. And as Amanda Goodman reports, these aren't just any fish. It was a lot of effort and work. Dressed head to toe in wildland fire gear and loaded down with lots of fish sampling equipment, Tracy Stevens and her team from Arizona Game and Fish and Moore National Fish Hatchery headed out on a rescue mission last week. Our goal was to salvage Gila trout from two streams on Mount Graham, Fry and Ash Creeks, um, prior to any ash, potential ash flows caused by the monsoon rainstorms. The Gila trout were downstream of the Fry Fire burn area on Mount Graham, which is near Safford. We hiked down um, probably about a mile and a half to the section of stream where the Gila trout occur. Once in the stream, they used these backpack electro fishing units. We kind of look like Ghostbusters, truthfully, with that. The packs stun the fish just enough so they can net them quickly and safely to transfer them. In this case, they put them in these five gallon buckets, which they then had to hike back out with. Carrying the buckets, we probably, with fish, we're carrying around 40 to 50 pounds. This specific trout is protected, which is why Game and Fish worked so hard to try and save them. Gila trout are just one of two native trout species to Arizona and New Mexico. And because of where these guys were located, they were in danger of being wiped out after the fire. It does seem like a lot of effort, but for these unique fish, we really feel that it's worth it. They were able to save just under 200 of the trout between both creeks. The fish are now at Moore National Fish Hatchery in New Mexico. Although the hike, hiking was hard, um, we were very successful in our effort. In Phoenix, Amanda Goodman, CBS 5 News.